So verse 3, verse 1, and I'll go up to verse 6 as well. Proverbs 3, uh, verses 1 to 6. Are we all there? Are we there? Okay. My son, do not forget my teaching, but let your heart keep my commandments. For length of days and years of life, and peace they will add to you. Let not steadfast love and faithfulness forsake you. Bind them around your neck. Write them on the tablet of your heart. So you will find favor and goodness, success in the sight of God and man. Take note of verse 5 and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will make straight your path. Let us go to the last read scripture for our reflection today. Matthew, the Gospel of Matthew, or the Gospel according to St. Matthew, chapter 8, and we'll read verse 23, and uh, we'll go up to 27. Matthew, verse 23. And when he got into the boat, his disciples followed him. And behold, there arose a great storm on the sea, so that the boat was being swamped by the waves. But he was asleep. And they went and woke him, saying, Save us, Lord, we are perishing. And he said to them, Why are you afraid, O you of little faith? Then he rose and rebuked the winds and the sea. And there was a great calm. And the men marveled, saying, What sort of man is this that even winds and sea obey him? The last verse again, 27. And, and the men marveled, saying, What sort of man is this that even winds and see, obey him. Here ends the reading of scripture. Uh, once again, good afternoon to all of you. Yeah. Um, please forgive me. I think there was communication breakdown um, with regards to, to time. So it's my prayer that uh, we still encourage those who will come when I am done. Probably others will be coming, uh, you know, uh, knowing very well that obviously the teaching will start at 17.30. But I'm glad that you kept time. So, throughout the week, uh, we'll be reflecting or we'll be endeavoring to have fellowship with the Holy Spirit. Okay? So, at the back of our minds, let's have it to say, apart from all one in Christ, caught to save this time around is um, fellowship with the Holy Spirit. Remember my neighbor, I'm telling you, fellowship with the Holy Spirit. Fellowship with the Holy Spirit. Okay. But just now, our theme is dependence on God. Dependence on God or depending on God. Total dependence, if you want, on God. Total dependence on God. Even when we say total dependence on God. Total dependence on God. Yes. So that is our reflection. And like I said, I'm going to use a very unorthodox uh, way of teaching. And uh, it's my prayer that uh, the message will come to us. Because, you know, this is how I have been to prepare. First, let us look at the word depending or dependence. The word um, depending or 
Dependence comes from the English word to depend. And uh, to depend simply means to rely on. To rely on. So if you say, if you, I'm saying, I depend on Mrs. Zulu, I am simply saying, I rely on uh, Mrs. Zulu. It could be because of her abilities, because of the skills, um, be, because of uh, probably her eloquence in terms of uh, speech. When I want someone to speak or if I want someone to translate, if I say I rely, I depend on Mrs. Zulu, I'm simply saying I rely on Mrs. Zulu. So the word depend simply means to rely on, to rely on. Are we together? Number two, in my definition of the word, and in the light of the subject that we have, the word rely on for me, to depend on simply means laying everything on one's shoulder. So to rely on may mean laying everything on one's shoulder. One of the words I could use or I avoided to use Mrs. Mwamba is heap on where you heap everything on an individual an individual mchipe mafutu watila ukufitulika not ukufishila ukufitulika chile mecha adipa ukufifuantika chile chile mecha mstreet ukufifuantika chile mafutu you have this bed and mashutu wakason Hello, my son, you love your mom. And the reason as to why you are doing that, it's because you depend so much on that person. That person. You rely so much on that person. You know very well and you are convinced without any shadow of doubt that definitely this person is going to sort out my issues. So laying everything on one's shoulder is dependence. Hallelujah. If we say total dependence then on God, we are simply saying no you or no me without him. Uko abula yena nshiri nshiriko. Tuli bonsani. They depend so much on their parents such that they always know that when their parents are not there, there is nothing that can, ha can happen. There are times that uh, you know, the total dependence on an individual is good, but then as we go forth or as we go on, you will discover that sometimes it is very dangerous, especially if you depend so much on a human being. Do you want to Umuntu ala chi? Ala chi njo umuntu ala luka. Kuti ya kushamuli muamone. Know you without him. So meaning that if you depend on God, you are saying without God, there is nothing that I can. I can do. I can't even exist. I can't do anything. I can't breathe. I can't do anything. Literally, know you without him. Or know me without him. All these three words are pushing us to understand the word dependent. Hallelujah, St. Matthews. But then the big question must come, why should we depend on God and not a human being? Let us take three lessons that I have drawn from the passages uh, of scripture, portions of scripture that we have read. In Deuteronomy, Chapter 31, the first six verses that we read, we note something. Moses is saying, I am old. Okay? I can't go out and go in. Literally, simply saying, I, I am not as active as I was when we started the journey in Egypt. Are we together, church, up there? Yeah, I, I am not as active as I was. 
and I am old. And he says, I am 120 years old. So, literally, I have lost my steam. But then, there is another jargon that we note in the scripture. He says, and then the Lord says, I will not go beyond the Jordan River. Ine shaka buke. So, meaning that the positioning here is that the children of Israel have not yet crossed the Jordan River. They are in camp around that area. They are overlooking the promised land. And so he says, the Lord has said, I will not cross the Jordan River to the promised land. It was painful. chalo. Ichoko kulia. But Iwe Tawa Kayeko. Iwe Chapuya Femuku Monate just from this distance. And then he says, Then I am not going and crossing there to the promised land. But then do not be afraid or worried. Because Joshua has been raised as your leader to take you to the promised land. Now, check. Here's a scenario in leadership that I have learned. Sana, you become comfortable, you depend on the leadership, and so when they say they are going, how are we going to manage? How are we just going to execute this? How are we going to, you know, uh, continue from this? So many worries. So many questions are raised and answered. And this is the scenario that the children of Israel had. They started raising questions. And they were afraid. And I want to believe they, they, they pictured or they immunized. They looked at the journey from Egypt where they were. And they remembered obviously the time when they were crossing the Red Sea and how Moses, you know, had to just point and the waters parted and then I went to leave when they had no food. How Moses had to speak to God and food was provided. I remember those moments, you know, they remember probably those moments when Moses went to get the law and they started doing something else but he came back and pleaded on their behalf to God. And all those moments and then probably they were thinking, who is going to lead us? Now, from that end, let's share some book with you. I'm sure we are not. Oko tuleya. Tafia kwa, tafia kwa. But Moses says, "Do not be afraid." Nishwaleta. They just depended on Moses. Then, without Moses, there was no leader, no leadership. He was their prophet. He was their teacher. He was the, at some point some their advocate. He was a mouthpiece of God. In as far as God was concerned, it was through Moses, the children of Israel, through Moses. And again, Moses would revert to them. And so they got afraid. And said, mm -mm. But he assured them and says, uh -uh. Don't depend on me. God is raising Job, Joshua. And this same God is going to do. He reminded them now. That's a reminder. There's four, five. He's going to do what he did just like to, the, to, 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 to Sion and, and to the kings of Amorites and others. He is going to defend you. In verse 6 he says, he's not going to leave you nor forsake you. So what Moses was saying was simply saying, please depend on God. Hallelujah. Depend on God. So what lesson can we pick from this passage of scripture, there's just one lesson we can pick. People uh, we depend on may not be there for us at crucial times, but God will always be there for us. See, see, the people sometimes, my big sister here, sometimes the people we depend on so much may not be there in our crucial times. When we need them the more, the most. But definitely, 
God will be there for us. Huh? For us. So every eleven hour is a they needed Moses the most now. You can imagine what that was on. Now they have walked with Moses for almost 40 years now. And they are over looking at the promised land. And then he says, I am 120 years. Now for that. Amaka. Now I am. It was a great disappointment. And that was the, the, the problem they were facing. Joshua. Joshua, I mean, what abilities does Joshua have to lead us? So we need Joshua, Joshua. But it will be okay. I got to run a few times. If he move on, he said sometimes he would be able to do it. He would have done no more. We should have done a shiny panel. We got to be able to get a car. I want to make a car of wing. There's so much anxiety and such that sometimes when you are coming to a new station, I've seen a man to when it poke a man be quite now, Tabishi, when it was a part of Abu Fuba Ishiva, and then if you bring something back. of the highest order. But then, he is gone or she is gone. Why? A human being cannot be there sometimes in those crucial times when you need him or when you need her. And that's why you and I must depend on God. On God, he is always there. Talala. Tashipula. We can trust him. At 90, he is there. In the midst of things and things, he is there. When the valleys are so low, he is there. He walks with us. You know, when the mountains are so high that we cannot climb, he gives us strength to climb and he holds us by his hand and simply says, Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I will hold you by my right hand. You are mine and you belong to me. So human beings may not be there at crucial times, but God will always be there. Now I'm going to speak. 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 I'm going to Sometimes at crucial moments. When, when, when you need them, they may not be there. Why? They are human beings. They've got limited limitations. So if we depend on them, we'll miss it out. And fear will grip us. This afternoon, as you begin this prayer and fasting, I want you to learn to depend on God. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Amen? Number two. Let us go to Proverbs. So in Proverbs, the first four verses are just instructions that a father can give to a son or a parent to a child. A child. In conversation, my son, uh, keep this and this. My son, when I read this passage of scripture, I always um, remember my father, may his soul rest in peace. Ulechefia. 
kuna mweka wili so kwa hiyo na meeting yonse ngatawala ile bwangu atuke mama ile nishtawake ile pande kwa bade ya miti ya miti as you are going mwana to mwana wa mfunda and this is a picture i want you to have in proverbs that's a picture which is there the first four verses but then now when it comes to verse five, the writer in his wisdom now so many his wisdom speaks and says now trust in the lord in the lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own and understand you but if in fury Number one, that is trust in the Lord with all your heart. I want to take the word trust and I want to take the word heart. Psalm number 125 says, uh, those who trust in the Lord are like Mount uh, Zion, which can never be shaken or moved. But abide forever. So the word is used is trust. But the way trust is used here, Mungu Kishisa, is different from the way the word trust in Psalm 125 is used. Never said The word trust in here, trust in the Lord with all your heart, is a picture of a soldier who has just lost battle and is captured by an enemy. And so he is yielding in to the commands of a new general. Hello, are we together? Aba soja bashi apisa kunkondo. Elo barusa inkondo. Elo no moyu soja oyu. Nai chefia. Naba muikata. Naba mr. Kapsta. Okwa lefo oku ufafi nomba. Nifi ya uge komanda waku uge kumaluwa nefi alamwe. Alamwe. He's laying low, face down. He's defeated. He's brought down. He's trampled on. And he's got no strength whatsoever. But another picture that is used is, 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 is a master and a servant. A master calls a servant. Iwe is up no. And then the master, the servant goes before the master. Tarani Nechi Chonse. But waiting for the next command, what is it that my master is going to say? So he lies down or he lays low, waiting for the next command. So when it says trust in the Lord, it simply means in this case with all your heart, it is coming before God and you position yourself in a manner where you say, I am helpless before God. I just want you to speak, to speak, because if you do not speak, I am not going to make a move. A move. I have no power. I have no mind within myself. But it is you to speak, and when you speak, I am going to move. Are we together? Why do we? right and center. And he's powerless. And then this is the case in which trust is used. So lie low, wait for the master. But then in part B he says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. A heart is a very important organ in a body. When it comes to pumping of the blood. It is the heart. Say it again. Umutima ngawaleka ukubomba ngawaleka fiyo kubomba umundu nishaita shayi nishapa 
when they are trying to resuscitate a patient. Is that true? Yes. Mama, mama, mama. To a flower. To a mother, to a little to a canchin. When would he? The canchin. But when you are sustaining, if you are and what? The center of activity is on the heart. On the heart. When the heart is not pumping, you are gone. So, now, in this case, when scripture uses the heart, they are saying it is the central organ in your body. So, meaning that if you trust God with your heart, you are going to give God the center stage. But you are my heartbeat. Hey, you are my steps. You are the air I bring. I'll cross the ocean for you. I'll go and bring you the moon. I promise you, for you I will. <laughs> Woo! Eh? I never meant no. You want to win that I'm here, Isa? Put knife me on with me. Chisangonde, ichakumi na kumone mishia. They are saying, you are my heartbeat. <laughs> so, this is what the scripture says. Now, trust the Lord with all your own. He has to be at the center of everything. If you are going to start a business, before you make that move, you have to consult, consult him. Before you embark on that journey, you have to pray and consult him. If he says go, then you go. If he says don't go, don't go. This is what he said, my son. Trust in the Lord with all your, your heart. And then the warning now comes. Do not lean on your own understanding. Why? You are a human being. There will be a point where you be limited. Or a human being has got limited intentions. So that they do not lean on your understanding. But in all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your path. But what lesson can we pick to those who are writing? We are limited in all our doings. I want you to write that one. We are limited in all our doings as human beings. Hence the need to depend on God and not ourselves. Mrs. Mwamba, we are limited on our own. We are full of limitations. There's that need to depend on God. Hallelujah. Are we getting somewhere? We are limited. If you depend on me, I will disappoint you. Talk about the point in the property. Now, I'm going to and that's why I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not going to be able to do this. I'm not you are my last hope. Sometimes I'm not going this is emotional blackmail. Mundo is a little bit of a little bit of a last hope. of a little bit 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 of 
I am a human being with limitations. Sometimes you may come to me, I want a hundred kwacha. I'll say, I am a hundred kwacha as you see me. I have nothing. But Sometimes you know, we become so emotional and so sad that we fail to encourage people. Sometimes we have now because they because they mean they have to smile all the time. You know <laughs> We know, but in what we are limited. But when you come to God and trust Him, He is the immovable mover. He is the prime mover. He moves mountains. He brings down issues that are strong. In all situations, he manifests as God. Trust him with all your heart. No divided at a at a divide ne fwe. Yo kwi mbaka ti kusanka nyana lesa awe. Lesa tafwa ya no ku mwa fuidisha. Kwa mwa no ku mwa fuidisha lesa. He sha sha de lesa fwa da ya fwa. Because Ah, kila bakanya. So, umundu, ngati achite, ome so. Kaya gena, achite, 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 nani? Nga, wafepi, ngati ome ati. Yero chai samu, ngati atinga iwe. Na, ngufiala, ngati, kuchu, kuchu. So, wasanga na mwini na, kuchu, eh, walesha, batu, vila, 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 vila. So, palasta, ngululesha, ngulu, 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 you trust him and you dance your lands out because you know I have my redeemer and he lives forever. Your heart is on him. Your bones are on him. Your mind is on him. And he says, then he shall do what? Direct your, your path. But that one's a child, ma. One's a child, ma. Ideas. It was a child. But sometimes people say, yeah, we know my child, ma. Child, ma. Because you depend on God. I am just beginning with you. When people say there is a going under, we say there is a rising. A rising because it is God who leads us. But I want to chop off your number. If I want to find my children starting to shift, move you. If I want to take a moment, yes. Never trust a human being. He is limited. Number three which is my last point and I'll be concluding. Let's go to uh, the gospel. Are we getting there, church? Okay. Aha. Uh -huh. In Matthew, the scenario that we have is, is Jesus is from just teaching and um, when he's done with the teaching, the teaching, they have to cross the lake, the, 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 the lake or the sea to the other side. And then, Nibaba feed, and he sleeps, and, and, and some verses says, in a stain. So he goes in a deep sleep and in a boat. And, um, and today I was, I was interrogating the scripture. At some point, you know, I was interrogating this passage of scripture. 
those are ancient times, huh? The world was not as developed as it is. And the scripture says he was in deep sleep, sleep. And then the storm came. And I want to believe Abena Peter and Abashala. Some of them were fishermen. And obviously, the storm came. And then nobody told him, how comfortable was this boat? It's a way about it. Yes, we ran in the I don't know if you are thinking what I'm thinking. I, I, I interrogated this passage of scripture. Yeah, Shan. How, how comfortable was this boat? Today, it's possible. H. Or if those are my sheep, huh? and you can sleep and uh, life goes on. People, you know, are always on a, on a vessel, maybe six months. But then, then, and then I, I, I had to read further. Then I had three thoughts before I bring what I want to talk about. One of the arguments I noticed was that the right was trying to liken the Jesus scenario to Jonah's scenario. Mwai kusha Jonah te? Jonah, nili akano kuya kuu nini ve? Aya mui wato te mo bot. Elo no mbe amadinde shani? Ya ima. And then they had to cast the what? The notes. Leke ni tute tu mwone. Mwishe ni chinshe chitika. Elo kaya sa pwone na pati nani? But then see what happens. When Jonah was thrown overboard, there was calm. And this is the scenario. That this guy was like, okay, but then I still argued and said, this is not convincing. Number two, I went to this guy whose thought was Jesus was 100% human. So having, you know, uh, taught the whole day, you know, interacted with people the whole day, Kukushimiki Okay. Flat, daddy, water to bath. Don't disturb me! Now, what do you want to do? You are worn out. Now, fuma ko kui fupa. So I thought, probably that case. But then it brings us to again how comfortable was the boat. But then here's number three, which I want us to run along. Thought number three. It's the divine nature of Jesus at work. Obviously, anyone in the FMU boat, I wish you to be a little bit of Then you have to be a So I am going to sleep like a baby, baby, knowing that my father who sent me is in charge, is in charge. But also, I am in my father, my father. My father and I are one. So God was sleeping. <laughs> it makes sense, huh? Ah! God was just. Ah! And this is what I want to bring. Because even now, when Tom came, let us see what happens. They started panicking, panicking, and they went to him Master, you do not care that we are there. We are dying. And when he woke up, he did not say, where is the storm? What is going on? He simply said, oh, ye of little faith. And I wanted to deduce this. He didn't have a question. 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 He Oh, 
damage no kuya afunda no kuya kalipira yamba kyo kusaba damage cuz when he woke up he says oh ye of little faith and he rebuked the storm and calmness immediately returned what can we learn just as jesus calmed the storms at the sea when the disciples cried to him in panic that is how he comes our situations when we depend on him just as jesus calmed the storm when the disciples cried in panic him that's how he comes our situations when we depend on him him mama yo ana mubiri kidafi na tarali kama bimbi aya kalipira pie na yo ya talala efya tarali ka ama bimbi esamwisa mewes na chai cholu bwa dabrisie fare ibaka shishibe na wale bana ino ishtaba fya Yale ma yale ma ama bimbi yale na mchachi yale ma yale nishwale sana sana so yale ma ba ke shobi no sa ba ah no sa ba WCF ba chabe oh ta ba ma sha ba no dream to para ba ndu to setting ba mukala <laughs> Sense. Now 
Ara kusha. Ukusha. Unafaya akusite kufi understand ta kuli na unefta understand. Epa ya no matupiri kwa kufi nani? Kuli lesa. Greater is he who is in me than the one who is in the well. Epa ya tui maino the Lord who you may kawe you may kawe kawe God will make a way where there seems to be no way. He works in ways. He works in ways we cannot see. He will make a way for me. He will be my God. Hold me closely to His side. With love and strength
tukasamuna kwa maanisha akalepo na ngupo mkapa analetu maelefoni yale na shua wa wanapen ah yale ni lakie ah ah sorry we chai pamwandi yuzuri ya chape eh tap ya pira na mumu ile ya hiyo phone ya ile ya tatwani ah ya mafone ya phone ya ba negative energy toxic people give them short answers mshani bwino how are you i am fine thank you and you chapo pat ndani phone pata na papa kona zi hello na ndipa kudu kiaisha nsha chule ipo na uchu atpati na mshani bwino ule ndera ndera negative energy Nchuli yemo kati busa na kupapata. Ah ah awe awe. <laughs> At this point na baba alipanga kose. Hapa ndio ile tako feel life na hiyo. Eh. Busa chinaka walanda kuna busa. Busa ngo kuna la. Life not we elo wana shisha kofie. Au akasonde. Ipo bebe si busa chita. I don't want anything that will steal my peace. My peace. If anything, it has it has to add value to my peace and the value that I put on myself. So when you depend on God, there is inner peace. And everything that steals away of your peace is not worthy entertaining. Likalamba likalamba likalambe shinaye likalambe shinaye nu imwe mwene sa e likalamba likalamba likalambe shinaye nu likalambe shinaye nu imwe mwene Amwalai yokutupala chachine munapala likalambe shinalenu imwe mwene sa Emwalai yokutupala chachine munapala likalambe shinalenu imwe mwene Laiyo kutusunga chachine munasunga likalambe shinalenu imwe mwene sa I just want you just to say Lord teach me to depend on you Hallelujah just begin to tell him God teach me to depend on you just begin to pray begin to pray begin to lift your voice Just begin to lift your voice. Forget about your neighbor, just begin to speak and tell him God, I want to depend on you. Teach me to depend on you. Father, we give you glory for the teaching of your word, for the preaching of your word. Our desire is that God as a people as your people, we learn to depend on you. Help us, King of glory, for we know that dependence on you will bring peace, that inner peace in the name of Jesus. We have learned that if we trust and depend on our leaders or on our leaders or leadership, our father, we will never succeed. And we know that we de- if we depend on ourselves, we are so limited. But then we know that if we depend on you, you be able to calm the storms in the name of Jesus. Pray 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 child of God. Just keep on praying, keep on praying and just telling him, Lord, teach me to depend on him. Where you have doubted, I want you to pray that God let my faith grow that I may depend on you in Jesus my name. You may be doubting him now. I pray that in your in God's mercy may he meet you at the point of your very need that your faith may grow in Jesus my name. We thank you and we bless your name. Teach us to depend on you. 
Thank you for this word. And as we begin this journey for the next seven days, we pray for your grace to abide. And in our prayers, we pray that may we depend on you. It's not by mighty no power. It's only by the spirit of a living God. We honor you and we bless you. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. We have the end of our service tomorrow. Thank you for coming. Uh, we are continuing tomorrow. And uh, the service starts at 17. Yes. So 5 p.m. to 6 8 p.m. <laughs> 17 30 to 18. Oh, no, 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 no. 17 hours to 18 30. Am I correct? Yeah. So tomorrow. We continue our journey. Please uh, encourage someone, bring someone. Let us just say the grace together. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, one God without end. Amen. So, I think you can still. Tula here. Les Amupale, love you so much, you people. By WCF, now let me tell you what we are saying. Fianchi, Tila, Vales, Afikur.